Do you want to know how I wrote this essay from start to finish with free AI tools, yet with no AI score? <laughs> then keep watching. Writing essays or reports with only AI essay writers like the ones in one of my videos will not give you an excellent grade. Although there are some good free AI essay writers, you should learn how to use AI tools strategically and ethically to enhance your critical thinking, structure your arguments, and align your work with the marking rubric your lecturers use. So in this video, Video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use free AI tools step by step to write A plus on detectable essays that meet every requirement on the academic marking grid. Whether you are writing an essay or report for college, a master's, or a PhD, this video is for you. Before we get to it, I want to give a shout out to my loyal members for supporting my channel. I appreciate you very much. You can also support my channel by joining the moving train through my channel membership. As a member, you can access five free AI and plagiarism checks monthly on the world's most recognized plagiarism and AI detector. Thank you very much for your support. All right, back to how to write an undetectable A plus essay with free AI tools. Step one, understanding the assessment tasks and marking grid, or should I say rubric. You can't get excellent grades if your essays do not align with the marking grid. This is why I said earlier that you can't depend on AI essay writers alone since you can't upload or paste your, assist your assessment marking criteria on most of them. You need to understand your essay briefs and how they will be assessed. Generally, most marking grades have certain marks allotted for content, critical analysis, knowledge application, structure, and style, including clear academic writing, good referencing, and formatting. To understand your essay brief, use ChatGPT or Google Gemini. Let's assume you want to write this essay on change management for an organization. Upload or paste your essay brief on ChatGPT. Then prompt ChatGPT like this. Can you break down this assessment brief and tell me what steps I should follow? This will enable ChatGPT to break down your assignment, highlight key requirements, suggest the relevant theories and organization to use, and outline the steps you need to follow to meet the marking criteria. Step two, research the topic. It is always beneficial to conduct your own research instead of relying solely on AI to write from start to finish. So use free AI tools like Perplexity AI, Consensus, or Elicit to do your research. Then, you should always make good use of the reading list suggested by your lecturer. Trust me, it is easier to make an A grade when your lecturers see that your essays make good use of the books and journal articles recommended. You can check your institution's library for some of them or comment on this video and I will tell you how to get them for free. When you have all the materials, use AI, such as chat PDF, perplexity to understand and get points about your essays. Perplexity AI is great for sourcing academic summaries. Ask simple questions based on your essay and store the responses in a Word doc or a notepad. Label appropriately because you are going to use these when you want to write your draft. You can also use consensus and elicit here to research your topic. Consensus uses peer-reviewed articles to answer questions, while you can use elicit to search academic papers using AI. Next is to create an outline. Since you have already pasted or uploaded your assessment brief, Add lecture slides and the summaries of materials recommended by your lecturer on ChatGPT and prompt it to create an outline based on the marking grid and the slides. Most times, lecturers want your essays to be aligned with what they taught you, especially with the influx of AI. Then prompt ChatGPT like this. Create a detailed essay outline that satisfies this marking rubric for an A grade. It should align with lecture slides and summaries attached. Copy the outline and edit to suit your style and reasoning. Step 4. Write draft sections by section with AI support. You can use ChatGPT or Gemini AI's deep research feature to write your draft. Write it section by section using the right prompt. Prompting is very important when using AI to write. Your AI written essays are as good as your prompts. Ensure 
you prompt ChatGPT, Claude AI to write critically, make good use of the summaries from text from the reading list and enrich with scholarly studies on Google Scholar and academic databases. However, you should know that AI sometimes hallucinates, that is, it may fabricate citations. So double check all references using Google Scholar or Zotero Bib. I use my Bib, I add the Chrome extension and cite and reference as I write. Then look at each paragraph add your thoughts and critical reasoning. You can ask AI more questions based on your thoughts and arguments on the issue. By the way, do you know that ChatGPT's deep research is not detected by Turnitin, Originality AI, and others? <laughs> you can see the video suggested in the description box of this video. Step five, check critical analysis and application. Now that you have a full draft, it's time to make sure your essay doesn't just describe things, but shows critical thinking and application of knowledge. This is where many students lose marks. Luckily, you can use free AI tools to critically evaluate your work before submission. First, paste each section of your essay into ChatGPT or Gemini and prompt it like this. Evaluate the section for critical analysis and depth of argument. Suggest how I can make it more analytical, reflective, or critical based on academic standards. The AI will highlight areas where you're being descriptive or summarizing sources instead of analyzing or comparing viewpoints. It can also suggest where to integrate counter arguments, examples, or theory to practice links. That's what your lecturer is looking for. Then revise those parts based on AI feedback or you can even ask ChatGPT to rewrite those parts based on its feedback. However, remember, critical analysis means going beyond what happened. You should explain why, how, and what it means in context, often by comparing multiple perspectives of frameworks. You can also ask ChatGPT to score your work against the marking rubric. Based on this marking rubric and this essay section, how well am I performing on analysis and application? Give me a rating out of 10 and suggestions to improve. This kind of AI self-review ensures your draft is not just well-structured, but critically sharp, a major requirement for top academic grades. Step six, humanize, edit, and check essays for AI and plagiarism. Remember that anything generated by AI will be detected by Turnitin. It is even possible that over time, Turnitin will revisit its model and start detecting ChatGPT's deep research tool. So take your time to humanize your essays. Then edit and ensure that your work follows the proper structure. It could be based on the structure given in your assessment brief or based on your creativity. AI tools like Grammarly or free grammar checkers could help here. You can see my video on the best free grammar checker, Grammarly. Now, if there are other steps you use to write your essays, let us know in the comment section. We would love to learn from you too. All right, intellects, could you give this video a thumbs up, comment, and share? It really motivates me to keep creating content. It will mean the world to me if you could subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. Bye.